Officials say they expect to be on scene for four more days working to determine what caused this crash. And we go live now to this scene, a memorial already set up with our Lisa Spitz. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Allison. Such a sad sight here. This is the crash site, and this is where federal investigators are going to be back today. Here's what happened on Saturday. Police say a limo was coming down the road over here, blew through a stop sign, and then came and hit a parked car in the parking lot of this country store here. This is where it happened. There was nobody in that parked car, but there was two people outside. They were both killed, and that is when police say the limo went down. You can see the tire marks and then went down into that ravine. All 18 people in that limo killed. There are still so many questions that have to be answered this morning, like how fast was the limo going? What were the road conditions like at the time? Did the brakes have any problems in the limo? Also, neighbors in this area have been complaining about this intersection in the past for years, so that's also something that's going to be looked at. Autopsies will also be done on the victims. Federal investigators will be here for the next four days. They are still interviewing witnesses. Is. We're back here live at the crash site right now, and you can see that there are flowers here. This memorial is growing. There have been family members that have been here yesterday. Police, they are not releasing the names of the victims, but obviously we told you some of those victims' names because family members have come forward. They said that those 17 passengers that were in that limo bus on Saturday, they were there for someone's birthday party, and so a lot of them they were family members and they were friends. So for their survivors, obviously they are dealing this morning with unimaginable grief. Reporting live this morning in Skaheri, I'm Lisa Spitz.